The video will cover the last two problems of section 8.4. Um, I know that we already wrote down the definition of our cryptogram, but my students here it didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and write it again. So a cryptogram is a message written so that no other than the intended recipient can understand it. All right. And uh, so what we're going to do here is that we're going to express the word that we want to code numerically. So express the word or message numerically. Um, list the numbers in step one by columns. So here I have the um, conversion. So we're going to use A as one, B as two, C as three, and so on. And if you notice, I have a zero, and zero is going to the note space. Okay? Uh, sometimes you could just skip that if you want to. Uh, now, so what we're going to do is convert those letters into numbers, and then we're going to list those numbers by columns. And I did mention last class that I actually prefer by doing, doing it by rows. That's the way I did it with my Algebra 2 class. It works as well. Um, however, the, my math lab is, is keeping it by column, so that's how we're going to keep it, all right? Um, so you do that, and then you form a matrix. If you, if you don't have enough numbers to form a square matrix, you put zeros in any remaining spaces. Um, it's not really necessary to form a square matrix. You can have any type of matrix, as long as it has the dimension so that it could be multiplied by this matrix that we're going to have here. Um, so you select any square invertible matrix. I prefer to stick to the two by twos because those are very easy to find the inverse of. And so that matrix is going to be called the coding matrix, which I refer to as the key. Um, only you, the messenger, and the recipient will know the key, the coding matrix, okay? And so the same size as the matrix in step two. Um, this is kind of limiting you, so you don't really need a square matrix, and you don't really need um, any square matrix. You could just keep your coding matrix as a two by two, and for your message, and you will see that with um, example seven, I put one of my own. Um, as long as you have the one that I have is actually a two by seven. So as long as those numbers, the two and the two, the number of columns of your key and the number of rows on your message match, you can multiply them. So you don't really need to limit yourself to square matrices. Um, so then you would use the numbers by columns from the coded matrix to write the encoded message. So basically what we're going to do is multiply the key or coding matrix times the message that we want to code or encode. I'm not even sure. Or I'll, I'll just give you my... All right, so what we're going to code and code here is the word map, your favorite word, right? So uh, what we're going to do is multiply the key or the coding matrix, negative 2, negative 3, 3, and 4, times the message. And so as the book says, we're going, we're going to go by columns. So can you guys tell me what number is represented, rep representing letter M? 13. 13. Okay. How about letter A? 1. 1. And then how about letter T? 20. And letter H? What, what is it? 8. 8. Okay. So since this is a 2 by 2, and what I was saying is that as long as there's two numbers in the middle match, um, you don't really need to be concerned of how many columns you have. And you will see that with the next example. So since it is a 2 by 2, I'm just going to multiply it by hand. 
Uh, so remember, we multiply the row times the column, so that would be negative 3 times 13, that's negative 26. Then we have negative 3 times 1, that's minus 3. Uh, then first row, second column, so that's negative 2 times 20, that's negative 40. And then we have negative 3 times 8, so that would be negative 24. Then we move on to second column, so second column, first row, 3 times 13 is 39, and then 4 times 1, so that's 4. Then we multiply second row, second column, so 3 times 20 is 60, and then 4 times 8 is 32. Um, so then here, what we get is negative 29, negative 64, 43, and 92. So this is like our secret or encoded message. Now, to decode that message, what we need to do is take the inverse of the key and multiply it times the coded message. Um, so since I'm trying to move kind of fast right now, um, let's go ahead and do this on the calculator. So that's why I asked you to get one. So we're going to go to your calculator, go to the home screen. And so we're going to enter a two by two matrix here. And so that will be the coding matrix or the key, which happens to be negative 2. It's important that you use the negative sign, the one below number 3. Negative 2, negative 3, 3, and 4. And we are decoding, so because of that, we need the inverse of that. So the way you could get the inverse, and this is a very good way to check when you're doing your take-home exam, uh, you will use the this symbol, the, I think you call it carrot, and then you will enter the exponent negative one, but you must use the negative sign below number three. Then we exit out of that exponent, put the arrow, and then times, and then we type in the coded message, which is also a 2 by 2. And so that was negative 29, negative 64, 43, and 92. And you press enter. And so we get 13. Reading by columns, we have 13, 1, 20, and 8, right? So what does number 13 represent? What letter? M. M. And, thir and 1? one A. A. And 20? T. T and 8? H. So that was the um, coding and decoding of the message, okay? So to code, you multiply by a square matrix. To decode, you multiply the encoded message by the inverse. Um, it is important that you keep the the key or the coding matrix on the left side because remember that matrix multiplication is not commutative. So what I want you guys to do now. Uh, let's move on to the next example. And here I made a message of my own. So I already show you how to decode, right? 
So to decode, you have to find the multiplicative inverse of the coding matrix. Here's the coding matrix. So you could either find the inverse or just type in this same matrix and use the notation for inverse negative 1. Uh, then you will multiply the, that inverse, the inverse of this one, times the coded matrix. So this will be my secret message to you guys. It is a little outdated because last year I taught chapter 7 first before 8. Um, so then here we have express the numbers by columns. So you're going to list these numbers by columns. Keep it to two rows so that you are able to multiply it. And then you will multiply those matrices. So let me just set up the problem for you. So you will need the inverse of this matrix times, actually, if we call this matrix A, I do have the inverse for that. Um, just trying to save time, so that's why I have it. 4, 3, negative 3, and negative 2. So you can either use this matrix or type it on your calculator that way. Uh, so it will be times, and you will start listing. The first two entries will be the first column. Like I said, you could also do it by row. It doesn't really matter. But we're going to stick by column because that's the way the, my math lab is going to want you to do that. Negative 10, 15, negative 71, 99, negative 51, 74, negative 57, 76, negative 19, 27, negative 67, 96, negative 72, 101. And so what I would like for you guys to do is uh, multiply that on your calculator. And just in case you forgot, I'm going to show you how to enter a matrix that is, uh, how many columns do we have here? Eight. 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 You go to your calculator, and of course you have to enter the inverse. You could enter the inverse that I already gave to you, or you could use the same notion that we did here. So I'm going to try the other way when you actually have the inverse already um, with you. And so you could do the following. You could press the button next to number 9, select the 3 by 3 matrix, and then you just change the number of rows to 2, press tab, and you change the number of columns to 8. And then you press enter. And so you will enter your whole matrix there. Uh, make sure you use the negative below number 3. You could to move from one entry to the next, you could press tab. So after multiplying the two matrices, uh, you should have a matrix that looks like that. First row should be 15, 5, 13, 18, 0, 5, 20, 15. 14, 0, 15, 5, 19, 3, 9, 14. Who didn't get that message? Did you get that message? Okay. So then um, once you, you, you get that message or those numbers, um, that will be your decoded message. So I have 15, 14, 5, 0, 13, 15, 18, 5, 0, 19, 5, 3, 20, 9, 15, and 14. And now what you need to do 
um, because my math lab or this book in particular, they go by column, you start decoding. So letter 15 represents O, letter 14 represents N, letter 5, and then you move to the second column. Letter 5 represents E, and then, not letter 5, I'm sorry, number 5 represents E, and then number 0 represents space, and then 13 represents M, and so on. So now you guys finish decoding that one. Thank <laughs> you.